Sorry for the intense amounts of backlight. I'm trying this whole new setup thing in my room. But anyways, uh, so last night I decided it might be a cool idea to go back on and log on to my MySpace and just see, you know, what was up with it, what things had changed, you know, like what, what was going on. And that was, that was a bad idea. <laughs> it's kind of weird because, you know, MySpace is like a, a, a social network museum of your, you know, your past life, you know, like, I feel like a totally different person from whenever I stopped using MySpace and I started using Facebook, and I can see that, <laughs> I can see that perfectly, because I'm looking through my MySpace and I don't like what I see. <laughs> now, you know, I'm sitting there, I'm going through it and stuff, and I just see all the stupid stuff I used to post, like, at the time I thought it was so cool and so, like, genius you know and now that now that I actually like I'm older and I know better I look at it I'm like oh my god I was a fucking idiot for instance you know you didn't have to put your name like your actual like full name on your MySpace you could have it be whatever you want uh I always went through those <laughs> pretty pretty fast uh I think my first one was just Lee Salas and I figured out that you can change it you don't actually have to put like your own name and so I changed it to saves the day I put it to I am legend and then I ended off with Lee Salasaurus <laughs> because my friend Becca used to call me Lee Salasaurus and it just I felt like it fit and like it's my profile looks so so stupid it's exactly the way that I left it you know like all the because you know on your profile and stuff you can get your own like customized background and you can sit there and get all these gifts and stuff that you like and all these pictures and just post them up on there and like, <laughs> I, had ne I had never listened to techno at the time, but for some reason my background was the kids want techno. And it was all like in crazy colors and shit. And I just thought it looked cool. And like I had like a gif of like a Ferris wheel or some shit going around and around. And like I had a, I had a gif of uh, like 303 doing their uh, Don't Trust Me music video. That's another thing, the songs. Like the one thing MySpace was good for was discovering new music like I could spend a whole weekend on MySpace and find all these bands that nobody fucking knew about and like I would find a couple of their songs that were actually like pretty good and I would sit there and I'd start jamming them at school and everybody would be like oh you know which who, who sings that song I'm like I don't know I found them on MySpace probably never heard of them I was pretty much like the first like hipster at, <laughs> at my uh, at my high school but yeah, me and my friend Becca, we would always go through and like, go through MySpace and we'd sit there and we'd try to find like new, like cool bands, you know, and it would like start to really piss us off. Like whenever people started actually listening to them and stuff, we'd be like, oh, they're fucking sellouts. They're so mainstream. Uh. You know, and that was before the whole like hipster thing was such a big meme, you know. But yeah, like my profile songs on there, because uh, I think you got to choose like five, right? My first song was Don't Trust or Don't Trust the Ho by 303. All That I've Got by The Used. Um Hot in Here by Jenny Owen Young's cuz she was one of the the MySpace bands that I found and she was actually she's still actually really really fucking good. If you guys haven't checked her out, I'll probably leave a link to her like to her Tumblr or some shit. She's fucking amazing. Uh Jenny Owen Young's, who else? Uh Guilty Pleasure Cobra Starship, gotta go with Cobra Starship, and uh, I'm Not Okay by My Chemical Romance. This is still like, you know, this is still in like my, my post-emo days. I did, like the way that I dressed was different, the way that I acted was a little bit different, but my music taste was still the exact same, you know, and it, it's, it still pretty much is like, there isn't things that I've grown out of, but there's things that I've grown to like. Like, I've kind of slowly developed into, like, techno a little bit, into some, like, dance music and all that shit. MySpace is kind of weird now. Like, it's just, like, like a museum of all the things that used to be and that I used to be about, you know? Like, my top four friends on on MySpace, I don't ever talk to anymore. Okay, like, my top four friends, I'm going to pull it up right now. My top four friends are... Lauren Treadway, which she used to be my ex-girlfriend. I don't ever talk to her anymore. Uh, Casey Green, I don't ever talk to her anymore because I'm 
an idiot. Uh, Morgan Gilbert, I don't ever talk to her anymore. And then my friend Becca Espinoza, which I only talk to, like, only talk to her through, like, Instagram and, like, Facebook and shit. It's weird, too, like, going through all the old messages and shit and just, like, seeing what I was talking about with people, like, it's so, <laughs> it's so strange, you know? Like, it's weird to see, like, the things that were important to me at that time was just, you know, like, nothing but, like, getting laid and, like, <laughs> trying to have, like, an actual, like, decent girlfriend, you know? And... It's so weird, like, it's so weird thinking that I put so much time and so much effort into it whenever, you know, I shouldn't have been worrying about it at all. I should have just been worrying about myself, you know? I don't know, just looking at my MySpace kind of leaves, like, a bad taste in my mouth. Like, if I had to guess, like, if I didn't know my past MySpace self and I was just looking through MySpace, like, browsing around and I saw this guy, I saw my old MySpace, I think the kid was gay. Actually, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I was... I was gay when I had a MySpace. Maybe that's why everybody treated me like a gay best friend. People still treat me like a gay best friend. Fuck! But, yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Uh, you know, it's it's kind of weird. Take a, I, I suggest everybody should take a chance to look through their old uh, social networking sites, like whether it be like LiveJournal or, you know, like your old Tumblrs or... You know, your old MySpace or your old Facebook and shit, or your Daily Booth even, Daily Booth, uh, for those of you who forgot about it. <laughs> but, yeah, you know, take a take a look through your, your past life and shit and see all, the, see all the things that you missed and all the things that, you know, that used to be important to you. But, uh, yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Uh, stay tuned for a video next week if you want to see more of me talking to you guys then be sure to subscribe, be sure to comment, and like the video. Alright, love you guys.